AFC Yardy TV, we're here at Yard and Garages Stadium after tonight's defeat to Stratford Town and I'm joined by Diamond manager Andy Burgess. Andy, it's another disappointing evening where we've been 2-0 and it's a, a, a disappointing performance as well. What's your overall take? I think you're struggling to ask me the same questions and it's the same again, you know, we haven't been good enough. Um, we haven't been good enough in, 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 at the right times, in key times. Second minute of the game, we've got to defend in a corner, do your jobs. Do what you know we, we spoke about in the dressing room, do what's up on the dressing room wall, and someone hasn't done it. So, the, you know, straight away you're on the back foot, straight away they've got something to hold on to, straight away they're, 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 they're in the ascendancy and they're, they're lifted. Um, I think they had the, the, the best of the first 10 15 minutes, and then we, we came into it. I thought we got down the sides quite well, Courtney down the left, and, and then Yolo down the right. Um, but that's such that final ball, got to the touch, got to the byline a few times. But, didn't really have a shot, we didn't test the keeper, we didn't have a shot till the last five minutes and the goalkeeper is a youth team goalkeeper or a young goalkeeper and that's the frustration again, I think we just been good enough in the final final third of the pitch and, and it, at both ends because we haven't defended well enough again. You look at the two goals we've conceded there and again it seems to have come from mistakes, the first goal comes early on, somebody steamed in with a free header and then we've had a couple of chances to clear for the second one, we haven't done so. And against a side like these, of in form, you're going to get punished for those mistakes, aren't you? Absolutely, yeah, and it proved and it showed again that individually, I said before the game to the boys, we, that that's the thing that's killing us, individual errors, we can't affect, other things have gone against us, but we can't change them, we can't affect them, we just need to do our jobs individually. Three jobs I've asked of the boys all season is, is do your job with the ball, without the ball, and, and at set pieces. And when we don't do that, and we haven't done that, you know, Defenders' jobs are to defend, clear the ball. I, I, if that's all they ever did, I'd be happy. But if that was all they ever did and kick the ball up the other end of the pitch, that's fine. I haven't got a problem with that. But we, we don't seem to be able to do that. We haven't done that well enough, um, and it's cost us. You brought in Jordan Hines for his debut tonight, playing in the same sort of system, um, fitting in with the team. How, how do you think he got on tonight? Yeah, I think we turned down opportunities to play into him too often in the first half. Um, when he did go into him, you know, you can see he's a big boy, he's a, you know, he's a physical lad. Um, he needs to get sharper, he needs to get fitter. We, we know that, he's obviously been playing a couple of leagues below, which is, he's not as sharp, he's not as as, uh, as probably uh, the tempo isn't as high in that, that, that level. Um, so we know we need to get him fitter, but he showed signs of, uh, of you know being that link player, being that back to goal player. Um, but we needed to use him more, we needed to get better quality into him, um, get more, more runners around him. I thought at times we did, um, and, he, and he linked okay, but uh, we, need to, we need to get more service, we need to get you know, they had one chance first half. Uh, we got into those end areas, but you know, we just need that final ball to be better and, and supply our strikers more. It's one of those games where we've struggled with chance creation once again, and I suppose in a way it's similar to the Al Church game where at one 0 down we're having a bit of a spell, you know, we were having a bit more ball, a bit more territory, but goals change games, and they've got that second goal that's ultimately decided it. Yeah, hundred percent. I thought at one 0 we would push in and we were doing okay and as I say end of the first half and then towards the second half we looked like moving the ball well and as I say full backs joining in and in the middle of the pitch again or middle area of the pitch again was okay and, and, and quite bright and it's just that entries into the final third and crosses into the box or delivery the final ball passes into the box whatever you want to say about it just whether it's a set piece which weren't quite good enough or, or, or the final ball from open play just wasn't there so um, if that's not there then you aren't going to score goals. We're looking ahead then, we've got no game this weekend, so it's far well away in 11 days time. So quite a bit of time now to prepare for that game. How are you going to sort of manage that time? Well, we need to identify players who come in and win us games of football. Just told the players that. I had six games as a player to, 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 to show the manager uh, that I was good enough to play in the team. They've had eight, not enough of them have shown me they're good enough. So either I get changed or, or I have to change the players. Um, I've told every single one of them, every single one of them will walk into another team. If they leave this football club, I ain't walking into another job. So I've got to do what I've got to do. I've got to. We already have. We obviously we identified two players to bring in this week. We, we've got to now plan uh, accordingly because we haven't got the ability to go out and get whoever we want. So that means players are going to have to leave the football club. I've told them if anybody wants to leave, to come and tell me and save me the job. But that's where we're at because we're, we're bottom of the league. We aren't good enough. So I need to change something. Well, thanks for your time and your honesty as ever, Andy. And we'll, we'll see you again next week. No problem. Thank you.